On his very first day on the job, the president signed orders that began making good on a promise he made repeatedly during the campaign to open up government and make it more responsive to the needs of the American people. The way to make government responsible is to hold it accountable. And the way to make government accountable is to make it transparent so that the American people can know exactly what decisions are being ma made, how they're being made, and whether their interests are being well served. This is FDA track. To help meet the president's transparency goals, the Food and Drug Administration is implementing FDA track, a computer-supported agency-wide system to measure our performance. Things like, are we hitting our inspection targets? Are we hitting our targets for product reviews? Are we notifying the public in the times that we want after there are recalls? Things that really matter about what FDA does. This effort is part of the Open Government Initiative at the Department of Health and Human Services. The FDA has 13,000 employees, a $4 billion budget, and regulates almost 25% of all the products sold in the United States. It's no wonder why the need to be accountable and transparent is felt so acutely here. Four areas will be measured in FDA track. The first is common measures, areas that apply to every office at the FDA. For example, whether they are training people in emergency response according to our plan, the level of turnover of staff in that office, which is an important measure of stability of a particular office. Second will be measures that center directors are choosing to keep track of. At the Center for Veterinary Medicine, the director's focus is on training. At the Center for Veterinary Medicine, yes, training is incredibly important. Our scientists are wonderful, but at the same time, science advances. So we want to make sure we have an opportunity to bring in some of the best experts to give excellent seminars, lectures to our staff, which really does help keep them right at the cutting edge. And that's going to help when they do the reviews. Third, we will track program measures, items unique to a given office. For example, a compliance office might be tracking um, recalls and recall classifications. An inspections office might be tracking the number of inspections. A review office, the, the number and timeliness of reviews. Fourth, the agency will keep track of key projects in each center and division. For example, the Center for Devices and Radiological Health will begin automating the 510K process for device approvals. All of the measures for the entire agency will be public and displayed on our website, FDA.gov. For each measure, there's a dictionary that really explains in depth what the measure means. We take comment on whether or not we're measuring the right kinds of things? Absolutely. In fact, one of the things we're really emphasizing that this is a work in progress. In fact, every quarter, progress on meeting our goals will be reviewed by management and updated. And those updates will be posted on the web. To employees, I would say that FDA track is a tremendous opportunity for the agency to show across so many offices uh, a tremendous amount about the work we do how well we do it, and the importance of that work for the health of the American people. The Center for Drugs message to the public on FDA track is we're on the case. We are responding and we are working on those matters that you care most about. And perhaps with the kind of openness that FDA track provides will come a better understanding and appreciation for what the agency does to protect the public health. Over time, I hope that people realize that um, FDA is an extremely talented organization that does so many things. And as people can see that and watch our progress, I think that will build our credibility.